Good Tuesday morning, friends. I hope you're doing well today. Let's look at our morning calendar. Do you remember what month we're in? That's right, it's April. We're getting to the end of April. Let's spell it together. Capital A P R I L. Yesterday was Monday, April the 27th. Do you know what day comes after Monday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday comes after Monday. Do you know what number comes after 27? And can you figure out what color of umbrella it's gonna be? I'll give you a minute to think about that. Remember, the umbrellas are making a pattern and they're repeating. Let's count and see if we're right. One, two, three, four, count with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. What is a 28 going to look like? If 27 is a 2 and a 7, 28 is a, did you say 2 and an 8? And what color of umbrella is this going to be? Did you think purple? 28 is a 2 and an 8 and we had a purple umbrella. Today is Tuesday April 28th, 2020. Our popcorn words. Your, Y-O-U-R, your. W-H-E-R-E. -E. Do you remember that one? Where, where, where have you been? Our words for this week, G-I-V-E, give, give. And these two are similar. We looked yesterday. They both have an O in the middle and a W at the end. They make that owl sound. Now and how. How are you today? Now, we are going to practice our numbers. Yesterday, we worked on our teen numbers. Today, let's do our, our numbers that are in our 20s. So the 20 numbers, they come, the two comes first. So 21, a two and a three, what's that number? 23. Two and a zero. Twenty. Two and a two. Twenty-two. Two and a four. Twenty-four. Two and a seven. Twenty-seven. Two and a nine. Twenty-nine. Two and a six, 26, two and eight, 28. What's two and five? 25. Ooh, then we move into the next one. Three and a zero. What number would that be, boys and girls? 30. Then we're back to the beginning. Okay. Yesterday, we started talking a little bit about pets. Today, I've got a book for you called The Birthday Pet. The author of this is Ellen Javernick. The illustrator is Kevin O'Malley. Remember, the illustrator is the person who does what, boys and girls? The 
That's right, draws or paints the pictures. The author is the person who writes the words. The birthday pet. It was Danny's birthday and his folks said he could get any kind of animal he wanted for a pet. Look what he's doing right here. What does it look like he's doing? Maybe thinking? If you can notice on his wall, he's made a list. Bad things, run away, barks, sneezing, good things, soft, quiet, slow, funny. He's making a list. I wonder if he's thinking about which pet he wants. Danny thought it over before he went to bed. All I really want is a turtle, he said. It says Eastern Box Turtle. Fun to watch. Number one doesn't get fur all over. Quiet and doesn't run away. But instead, Dad said, you don't want a pet that sits still like a dog. Excuse me, that sits still like a log. So he went out and got Danny a, can you guess what animal he got him? A dog. The dog knocked Danny over when they went outside to play. If Danny took her walking, she always ran away. How's the dog? asked Danny's father. Danny shook his head. All I really want is a turtle, he said. But instead, Mom said, a turtle's not cuddly or soft like a mitten. So she went out and got Danny a, can you guess? Maybe something that rhymes with mitten. Kitten! The kitten was cuddly, but it made Danny sneeze and he always had to get it down from those trees. How's the kitten? asked Danny's mother. Danny shook his head. All I really want is a turtle, he said. But instead, his big brother said, you ought to pick a pet more exciting than that. So he went out and got Danny a... Can you look at the brother right here? What does it look like he maybe is acting like? A rat. The rat's beady eyes were a scary sight. And the rat kept Danny up when it gnawed in the night. How's the rat? asked his brother. Danny shook his head. All I really want is a turtle, he said. But instead, his older sister said, you would like a turtle? A turtle is absurd. So she went out and got Danny a, can you infer what might be from the picture? What animal is his sister gonna give him? A bird. The bird only nipped. It didn't even talk. It was sort of pretty but it had a nasty squawk. How's the bird? asked his sister. 
Danny shook his head. Not one of you listened to anything I said. So instead, his family got Danny a turtle. With a nice hard shell, Danny couldn't wait for his show and tell. The turtle blinked her eyes and never made a sound. She played peekaboo as she crawled around. The teacher wrote on the board, Danny and his amazing turtle, Lulu. He fed her bugs and lettuce and he made a turtle gym. Danny thought the turtle was a perfect pet for him. So dad kept the dog, his brother kept the rat, his sister kept the bird, and mom kept the cat. Danny kept the turtle, and that was the end of that. Ooh, there were several pets in that book, boys and girls. Today, I want you to get a piece of paper or a whiteboard if you've got one. I'm gonna get my whiteboard, and we will look at and make a list of pets. So the first thing I'm going to do on my list is I'm going to write the word. I'm going to write the label of my list. What letter should I write? P. What do you hear in the middle? E. T. Did you write a T? T. Pets. So what were the pets that Danny's family tried to get him, to give him? Hmm. I remember his dad tried to get him to get a dog. So I'm going to write the word dog. D. A. What letter should I write? Og. G. G, dog. What pet did his mom give him? Cat. K -k -k -k. What letter makes the k -k -k sound? Write that on your paper. C, k, a, a, t, 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 t. His brother wanted to give him a, what was that beady little animal? Rat. Brrr. Ah. What letter should we write? At. Rat. And what animal did his sister want him to have? Had wings and beautiful feathers, but it just squawked a lot. Bird. B, b, b. I know there's an I, R, B, R, D. What do you hear at the end? D, bird. And what was the animal that Danny wanted? The only animal he really wanted. Yeah, a turtle. T, 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 t. T, er. I know, and I remember from the book, it was a U-R, tur, t, 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 So the pets that were in this book were a dog, a cat, a rat, a bird, a turtle. Can you think of any other pets that you would want to add to your list? Our math question today has another pet that we could add. 
I'm going to go ahead and read our math question today, and then you maybe want to add that to your list at the end. I have five fish in my fishbowl. Now, what's that other pet? Could be a fish. My dad gives me two more. How many fish do I have now? So, hmm, is this going to be an adding or a taking away sentence, boys and girls? What do you think? I have five and my dad's gonna give me two more. I think you're right, it's gonna be an adding sentence. So I'm gonna draw my fishbowl here. Here's my fishbowl, I'll even give it some water. And I have five fish already. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five fish. So I'm gonna write the number five. We already said it was gonna be an adding sentence, so what symbol do we write for that? Yeah, a plus sign. Then my dad gives me two more. So I'll draw two more fish. So five plus two more equals, do our two lines, now we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. If you want to write fish on your list of pets, F, I, I, and then shh. Do you remember the two letters that make the shh sound? Did you say S and H? Fish. Maybe you can think of some other animals that would make good pets. Go ahead and add them to your list. Boys and girls, we'll talk about pets again tomorrow, and I hope that you have a great day. See you next time.